Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Random Brick Reviews. Today we're gonna take a look at DC deck building. Actually, we're not gonna look at DC deck building. You can find stuff online. It's a good game. It's one of my favorite card games, actually. It's easy to play, easy to pick up, blah, blah, blah. But what I did, I customized a, uh, a deck building game just using the same engine for WWE Superstars. So, so we have Ember Moon. So I did a couple of Ember Moon variants. This one's OP, that's why it's in black and white. Play tested, <laughs> it was too powerful. Uh, like a NXT Ember Moon. Got Alexa Bliss. So these are the character cards you can play. Instead of playing like Batman or Superman or Green Lantern. Uh, you have Undertaker. Oops, uh, you have Stone Cold Steve Austin. And uh, so I also did a variant of Stone Cold. Because uh, after play this in the game, you can see if one's like kind of too powerful. It just OPs the other person. I uh, got a Rock. Uh, Trish. Kane. Another Stratus and another Rock. So I'm not going through all the abilities, but uh, so Stone Cold. Stone Cold says if we can read it. Let's get some better light. When you play three or more superpowers on your turn, you may draw a card or destroy a card in your hand. So, let you get rid of like weaknesses and starter cards. Uh, this Ember Moon. When you play your first three villains, you get plus three power. Locations cost you one less to buy. So that's, that's pretty good. So kind of like Wonder Woman, we get all the villains. She wants to get all the villains in her deck. You get plus three power when she plays them. And locations are cheaper. Uh, let's see. Let's just do. Let's do two guys to go. So King. When you buy a hero card, replace it immediately. If there are three or more villains in the row, in the row to buy, you get plus three power. So if you buy a hero, replace it. Hopefully it's a villain, you'll get plus three power. Uh, Alexa Bliss. You may discard one equipment to draw two cards. When you gain a belt, you may put it on top of your deck. So gain a belt for the customized game. For the villains, I made all the championship belts. And for this one, you, just, you don't randomize them, you put them in order. So it starts with a hardcore belt. Um, all the effects on the belts are um, unblockable, so you can't defend. These are Ongoing, the uh, happen when you draw them. Got the European belt, ECW world title, the old women's belt. Oh, Same video messed up. Tag team belt, IC belt, white strapped, WCW, the winged belt, WWF, Universal. And of course, the WWE Championship. I pretty try to make a, a whole uh, playable game so you can buy heroes like Bailey. When I made it, she was a, a babyface at the time. And you have a villain like Mickey James. Uh, Mandy Rose is a villain. Of course, Vince McMahon is a villain, of course. And blah, blah, blah. Uh, Dolph, and then for vacations, we did like shows, SmackDown, Monday Night Raw, SummerSlam, WrestleMania, King of the Ring, Help Cell, Superpowers, you have stuff like Ankle Lock, Twisted Bliss, RKO's, Pile Drivers, uh, Face Busters, and Choke Slam, so all the stuff, any uh, wrestling fan, will be familiar with, Stone Cold. So a lot of these, well you probably, I went through them fast, but they're pretty powerful because you can't defend against the belts and you gain a lot of weaknesses during this game. So, and you have some equipment. Got the ladder, steel chair of course. 
Macho Man Hero, Sledgehammer, Lita, China. Uh, yeah, Rousey was on her way in when I did this. Laura Bailey, Asuka. So, it plays pretty well. It plays just like any deck building game from that engine. <laughs> so, if you like it, you would like it. Uh, like I said, I'm a big WWE fan. It was fun making these cards and testing them out. Alright, there you have it.